What is going on YouTube? This is Minty Josh 19 and I am back and I am back for my next Fast and Furious video. So this video is going to be about the movie Hobbs and Shaw, which basically revolves around uh, Luke Hobbs played by um, Dwayne Johnson and Deckard Shaw who I forget who plays him. I forget the guy's name, but I can't. I, I don't remember it, but it's like on the tip of my tongue. Uh, anyway, and in today's video, we are going to be making the Range Rover that was used in the film. Uh, ours is going to be a little different because it doesn't have the grill guard on it or the blacked out headlights, but yeah. So the car you're going to want to use for this film cannot be bought anymore from Southern San Andreas Super Autos dot com. Rockstar took it out, so you need to drive it and find it on the street. It is the Baller SUV. I know there's like four different Ballers. You're looking for the one that looks like this. Kind of like the Range Rover. Um, this is commonly found in the parking lot near Vespucci Beach. Or driving on the Del, on the Del Perro freeway, freeway. Or... Uh, located around Strawberry and Dave's. I've actually found mine. Uh, if I can find it. Uh, right. I found mine right about here. No. Right about here is where I found mine. And this little stretch of freeway was actually right about here. I got and actually T-boned my car and then I ended up driving it all the way to my arena workshop because this is probably the closest place uh, but when, once you find one bring it to any Los Angeles custom or arena workshop which is where I'm at or your CEO office garage or any any other place you own that you can work on it um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to go right down the list. Give me a second. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go right down the list. I'm going to start with the armor. Upgrade your armor to 100% for $35,000. Upgrade your brakes to the race brake for $17,500. The bumpers. Um, you really don't need to, you don't really need to add anything to the bumpers. Uh, I just want to keep them stock. I mean, if you want to, you could add this on it. I'll, I'll probably just add that, the custom front bumper, too. The rear bumpers. You don't need to add anything to. Um, upgrade your engine to level four, to EMS upgrade level 4. This is going to cost you $16,750. I'm going to do a dual exhaust on mine lights so because you're in the arena workshop you can actually put different color headlights on it um color headlights are more expensive than just standard ones they run you thirty thousand dollars instead of five thousand uh or if you don't have them unlocked like the red lights that i want it'll cost you fifty three thousand four hundred dollars Because I can't, I'm going to get the red lights. You don't need an underglow. Uh, because you have found this on the street, you will need to buy a tracker and full coverage. Full coverage for this car is $11,250. Uh, if you have a custom plate, put it on. Respray the whole car. We're going to go with the matted look. I mean, you don't have to. You can also use the metals. I'm actually going to go with the metal. I'm actually going to be using 
the I'm gonna go with the brushed black steel you can also use the brush steel you know I'm actually gonna go with the ah, this is hard so really you could use the brush steel or the br brush black steel I'm gonna go with the black steel for 11,500 um, you don't need your crew emblem. Right now the vehicle's worth is pretty low. It's only $59,000. <laughs> um, for the skirts, in the film it does have some, like, sidestep. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to keep the suspension the same. Upgrade the transmission, the race transmission, for $20,000. Turbo is going to run you $35,000. And then the wheels are actually going to be pretty easy once you find them. Uh, so just let me see if I can't find them. Yeah, they're not under track. So these ones might work. The Endo V3 Customs. Might now under Tuner. These ones will also work. The Endo, well actually these ones won't work because they have that chrome ring around them. These ones work, the Endo V2 Dish. These ones will work too. I'm actually going to go with these ones. For $5,000. Once you have those, paint them black. Um, don't forget to add your bulletproof tires. I've known lots of people who race these cars in GTA races for SUVs. Who don't have bulletproof tires. And then they all, all get mad when... You know, their tires get shot out. Um, and then next, I'm going to give it a dark smoke tint window. I'm not going to go full on tint. Just dark smoke. And there you have it. Really, the only thing that's different is the headlights and the there's no grill guard on it. And there's no side step. Other than that, that's pretty much what it looks like. Came out pretty nice. I actually like this car a lot. Um, this is probably one of the more easier cars you can make. Just because it's something you can pick up off the street. This is actually my first car, which is actually going to be my next video. I'm going to show you all what my very first car looked like in GTA Online. Back when it came out on the Xbox 360. So keep an eye out for that video. In the meantime, I'm going to go find my missing car. I had the T20, I never customized it, but for some reason it's not in any of my garages now, so I have to go find it, so. Anyway, I hope you all liked this video, uh, leave a comment below about what you think, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the Halloween updates, I know I am, if you saw my latest video, I made the Ghostbusters car. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and Snapchat at MajorJosh19. And you all have a good week. Um, and I'll see you all Friday. Have a good night.